The United States of America is the most powerful nation on Earth. In itself, this goes a long way to explaining the things it does around the world. At present, it's conducting a war on terror, or more accurately, a campaign against opposition to US domination. Others prefer to call it the beginnings of the Third World War. The United States has an insatiable appetite for conflict. And since going into Korea in the 1950s, it's been at war with someone or other in some corner of the globe non-stop right up to the present day. This drive is now led by the weapons manufacturers themselves. It is a highly dangerous precedent. I call it war corporatism. It is the door of a new fascism being pushed open. And don't be fooled, not all fascism looks like Adolf Hitler. The reality, as we see from the Iraqi invasion, is that the presidency has been captured by the most powerful elements of this corporatism. And this ghastly molecule aims to turn the world into its very own enslaved global market. And the plan is well underway. The attack by Al-Qaeda on the World Trade Center is just one response to it. Is this a conspiracy? Quite the opposite. It is a high-profile project known as the Project for the New American Century. People like Dick Cheney, Donald Rumsfeld, Richard Pearl, are the major players among politicians, right-wing thinkers, militarists, and industrialists in the creation of the project. The project is a neoconservative manifesto, which includes in its toolbox the unbridled use of war in clearing a path for US interests. The will to attack Iraq came entirely from this visible yet sinister group. September the 11th was merely the pretext. Bush is merely the figurehead. And so, who's next, you wonder? Iran? North Korea? France? Britain? None of us really matter to them.